and welcome everyone to Last of All Us. I'm Mr. Black, this is my leader. And I'm feeling incredibly indecisive this evening, and so I've decided I'll attempt not to nuke the world and give DEFCON a try. A game I've never played, and which I only understand to essentially act as a simulator for nuclear war, or not war. Preferably the not war. It However, is, it is everybody dies. oh, okay, it is DefCon. Everybody dies, and yeah, Twitch was a little bit, you know, sketchy in trying to figure out which game it is I'm actually playing, and I wasn't sure whether or not it's DefCon. Everybody dies, or just DefCon Five. Apparently, it's DefCon. Everybody dies. Uh, Hola, senor and senorita. Hola, senor. So, as usual, handy wave to wave. Can you guys see the spinny green glowy globity in the background? 2nd of October, 2014. We've just updated the meta server to figure out. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that was actually like a lore note. No. And not a dev note. Okay. Fine. Well, Steam authentication. Yeah, I kind of like the fact that it actually looks like one of those 1980s computer terminals. Yeah. It's a stupid ad. These are getting worse. Oh, yeah. I know uh, Twitch is getting a little bit more aggressive in their uh, advertising well, stuff. Well, yeah. Hello, hello. Yep, can see it. Sweet. Alrighty then. Hello. And as a heads up, ahead of time, uh, Vi and I are both very tired, as we've had a rather hectic sleep schedule all week, and thus, I've been up since about 7 in the morning, and, uh, I haven't had a full night's sleep for four days. Yeah, so, uh, the stream will likely conclude a little early tonight, probably 9.30, 10-ish. As early as possible. Now let's see. I also, um, a quick announcement prior to uh, jumping into this game is that I had intended this evening to start on the game I've decided to run for streams for a while. However, as tired as I am, I didn't necessarily want to jump into uh, the new game without the sort of energy as I want to muster for it, which is Shadowrun Returns. And I am uh, very excited to try that one as. Once upon a time, I was rather interested in the tabletop version of Shadowrun. However, that was the old like, second edition of Shadowrun. Fifth edition um, has recently come out, which is yeah, we're, good. I'm a little dated and behind. However, um, I'm rather excited to give Shadowrun Returns a try. I unfortunately do not have, what is it, Dragonfall, I think. It's very, very highly reviewed DLC. However, one of these days I may get it, essentially after completing the uh, vanilla game uh, campaign on stream. And what really kind of earned my attention is the fact that Shadowrun Returns apparently supports Steam Workshop modules, which means I can actually try um, other creators' modules and narratives and stories and stuff and try those out on stream, which I think could be really cool. So, Oscar, this is so weird. I got that new face cam, so now everyone can see oh, nice. playing uh, aliens. Which reminds me, Oscar, are you planning on running a... Uh, after stream this evening. Ghost says, well, that makes three of us. I might be quitting even earlier. I have to be up before 4 a.m. and not slept last night. Oh, damn. Yeah, you might want to go to bed now, man. Yeah, I, Jeez. You, you can't I, go to bed. I appreciate you showing, but if you need sleep, man, get sleep. Good God. I love you. Take care of yourself first. Exactly. Um, also, I uh, another announcement. I will be running a, uh, a game jam either tomorrow or Sunday. I'm not completely sure yet. The reason being... The Hawken devs are running a server stress test on both days, and uh, as an incentive to get people to actually like pile onto the servers and actually stress the servers, they're offering a triple XP and whatever the currency in the game is uh, reward weekend. So um, I absolutely want my chunk of that reward, and um, you know, as someone who wants to support the new Hawken devs in uh, you know ferrying that game into actually getting rebuilt properly, I'm happy to help with what little way I can. So. I'm not entirely sure. I've got to double check the actual times that they're running the stress test and uh, then decide whether or not I want to set aside the time either tomorrow or Sunday to do so. One of those days, I'll be running a game jam for Hawking. Oscar says, I might, about the action. Ready then. Eagle Bunny says, hello. Hello, hello, Bunny. And Ghost says, I will probably quit around 8. Okay. Alrighty then. So, 
indeed play DEFCON. Options, what are my options right now? As I mentioned, I've never played this game before, so... If any of you guys are familiar with DEFCON, everyone dies. Or everybody dies, I'm sorry. Do let me know. Okay, the master volume is actually decent. So, colors, that, graphics... I have no resolution options. Apparently the graphics are just... general stuff. Okay, I'll keep it with the, um... default stuff for now. Oh, the screen. Here we go, here's the resolution. Apparently I'm already at 1080p. I kinda disagree, however, if the game thinks so, I suppose. Okay. ETA the same. New. Okay, whatever. What Keep that. Yeah. And New oh wait, no, tutorial. Tutorial. Because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. And I assume this will remind me a great deal of the scenarios from Rise of Nations, in which I learned that the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis scenario in Rise of Nations is god-awfully hard, and I anticipate this to kind of be the same way. Alright, let's see here. Chapter 1 of 7, Launching Nuclear Weapons. We're just skipping diplomacy and going straight into launching nukes. Welcome to the DEF CON tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know in order to effectively control your forces. Okay. Before we start that, you need to learn how to control your viewpoint. Move your viewpoint by moving the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen in the direction you want to move. Okay, simple enough. You can use WAS and D as well. Okay. Scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay, alternatively, you can use Q and E. Alright, I will definitely keep it the mouse. You can also hold down the middle mouse button and drag the view around. Middle mouse, drag. Oh, oh okay, alright, that's quick and snappy and responsive. Alright then. This highlighted object is a missile silo. What highlighted object? Where? There. Oh, oh, okay, that one. There we go. Okay, now it's actually highlighted. It wasn't in the original. So, Bunny says, now the random word of the week. Butt cheeks. I approve of this. And Ghost says, don't expect us to read anything little. It's a really blurry font. Yeah. yeah I can't read it, and it's... I'm only a few feet away. Like, you guys have seen how tiny I write in my journal, and I'm having a hard time reading this, so it's why I'm reading it aloud. Um, I would stream this in, like, 1080p so you guys could at least full screen it, but, you know, bandwidth. Okay, let's see here. Um, highlighted objective, object is a missile silo. It has two modes. An ICBM launch mode, it can fire nukes at enemy targets. Okay. Air defense mode will shoot down enemy nukes and aircraft. I'm not sure that's how a nuclear silo works. I'm not sure you've got anti-air nukes. I'll accept it, though. We need the silo in ICBM launch mode so we can destroy the nearby enemy radar stations. Okay, right-click the silo and change it to ICBM launch. Right-click, ICBM launch. Okay. Notice the icon for the missile silo changes to a triangle when preparing to launch nukes. Okay, use your missile silo to destroy enemy radar stations. So, oh, I'm like, it's dragging a reticle around. Left click on this enemy radar station to launch on Nuke at it. Because that's definitely necessary to destroy a radar station. I mean, bunker buster bombs be damned. Let's just go all the way overboard and nuke the poor bastards. Bunny says, hey, hey, nukes, I want one of those now. <laughs> and that looks like I'm nuking Moscow. Oh, dear God. Well, I mean, it's Putin and all, but, you know. Collateral damage. I like most Russians, just not that guy. Alright then, so... Very high attack odds, that's good, right? I think so? How do I... oh, Space. wait, no, I'm just waiting. Why would... Oh, radar destroy... oh, oh, I can see the missile in transit! That little green thing. That's kind of ominous. Radar destroyed. Mission complete. I feel bad now. Move on to mission two. Okay. I kind of think I might be in for a little moral dilemma in this game. Oh god, DEFCON 4 in like six minutes. What's going on? Your first task in any game of DEFCON is to deploy all of your units. Open the unit panel to begin deploying. Oh, units are down here. Okay. From this panel, you can deploy all of your available units. In this mission, you only have silos. You must deploy all of your units before DEFCON 3. Okay. Click the silo icon to begin silo deployment. Righty ho ho. The green area represents your territory. Okay, apparently I'm European Union, I guess. You may only deploy units within your own territory, and ground units cannot be moved once they've been placed. Okay, so they're not actual 
what I would usually think of in RTS game units. They're like structures. Okay. Ground units cannot be placed too near to each other. And is anyone else getting Shadow of Chernobyl vibes off of this background track? I really am. Uh, deploy your silos near your cities in order to defend them. Okay, so those little green dots, I think, are my cities. You might want to put one. So, I guess I'll put one over here. Yeah. I think you have, uh, you have three more, I think. Alright, then I guess I'll put one down here in the Mediterranean because that seems like a thing I should do. And let's defend Norway. Put one. Home, eh? Oh, I think I've got one more. Yeah, you have one more. Um, I put it close to the corner. Yeah. Let's throw it, like, way over here. Okay. okay Launch is detected. <gasps> what the hell? That's coming from the middle of the Atlantic. Enemy submarines have launched nukes at your cities. Oh, oh crap. A couple of them oh, at that. No. Your silos are already in air defense mode and will shoot down the incoming nukes. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Norway. May your Valkyrie shots... Why are you missing? It's not, it's not working. Okay. Oh my god. Norway, no! Flight of the Valkyries! Okay. A nuke has hit one of your cities. No! <gasps> Try placing your silos near the cities next time. Fuck you, tutorial. So they have more time to shoot down the incoming nukes. Click restart. Oh crap, I've lost already and I'm not even out of the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We're, we're dropping one. Ooh, wait, no, we're gonna put one in Iceland. Okay. Get that Atlantic in interception. Well, I think we'll put one in, like, London. Yeah. Left click in this area to deploy your silos near major cities. Okay. Um, I, you know what? I'm gonna put one in, like, Portugal. I forget. Is, is Portugal this one? I think this I think this here is Spain. So we'll do, we'll do that. And then I guess we'll put one over. Yeah, okay, I think we've got our bases covered pretty well. Yeah! Iceland kicking ass! Channel the ferries into that missile defense. Alright. Mission 2 completed. Okay. Every unit in DEF CON has a radar range, and you can only see an enemy unit if they are within your radar coverage. Okay, makes sense. There are several enemy units in Russia which need to be uncovered. Of course! Of course, it would be the Russians, wouldn't it? Play your radar stations to uncover enemy. So, I need radar stations. Deploy your radar stations as near to Russia as possible. As you deploy each radar station, you will notice your visibility of the area increases in when units will be revealed. Alright, then we'll put one as far that away as possible. Bingo! I guess we'll put one in very far northeastern Norway. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I've got Russia covered pretty well, so... Uh, I guess we'll put one down here by the Mediterranean. Let's cover the Black Sea, I guess? Or the Baltic? You can now see the enemy units. Deploy some silos in your territory to destroy the enemy. Ah, good, okay, I see. says hello, hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Okay, so we'll deploy a silo. We'll put it way up there in the frozen north. What? What? No! Invalid placement. Why? Uh, do I have to place it in this ring? clear on the way that this is all working, however, I'm kind of... Yeah, Ghost says, alright everybody, I'm sorry, but I have to crash through my <laughs> hall, I am dead. No worries, man, Don't go get some rest. Go sleep. I completely sleep understand. Well. No worries at all, mate. Did you do live at 5? Uh, yeah. Okay. For some uh, reason, I was like... Yeah, I announced on Facebook, Twitter, and the Steam update should be coming up shortly. So Alright, let's see. Uh, we need to use nuclear weapons to destroy the enemy buildings. Why?! But we cannot do that until DEFCON 1. Okay. To reach DEFCON 1, we must accelerate time. Click on the speed control buttons to accelerate time okay. until DEFCON 1 is declared. Oh, okay, the little fast forward button. It, it's essentially... Uh, okay, okay, so that's five times real time, ten times real time, and twenty times. Okay, we'll just go... Okay. DEFCON 2. 
many units cannot engage in combat until a certain DEFCON level has been reached. Naval and air combat cannot occur until DEFCON 3. Nuclear weapons can only be used after DEFCON 1 has been declared. Accelerate time until DEFCON 1 occurs. Okay, so one has the time, I suppose, then to... To try other things. To de-escalate situations and conflict. And if you run out of time, essentially, if you're, you know, derping around too long it's and it runs into DEFCON 1, suddenly the nuclear football is thrown. Okay, I understand this now. Alright, let's accelerate things until we reach DEFCON 1. I kind of like this. It's a very different sort of game from the usual that I play. However, I kind of enjoy breaking away from the norm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Because, Waskar, I've seen a couple of different Let's Plays of Alien Isolation. I know what you're in for. Okay, let's see. Yeah, left click the silo repeatedly to queue up lots of nuke launches on it. Why would I do that? Why do I need to double down on nukes? One will do. I can almost assure you of that. It'll shoot down many of you. Oh, it's because we need to essentially just shotgun through their air defense system. Okay, I understand. You can now use your silos to nuke enemy buildings. The enemy has a silo of their own in air defense mode, which will shoot down many of your missiles. In addition, that enemy silo is hardened against nuke strikes and can take three direct hits. Holy shit! You must launch at enemy silos simultaneously with all of your silos to ensure success. Okay, a little overkill, however. No, 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 okay. There we go. Uh, ICBM launch. And now they want uh, it to click on that side. Oh, right. Um. Bo, 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 Yeah. Alright. Now, ICBM launch. Silos take a long time to charge between air defense mode and ICBM mode. Hover the mouse over a silo to see how long you'll have to wait. Okay, can I... Bo, 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 bo. Because that's the nuke noise now. Boop. boop. <laughs> boop, boop, boop it's incredibly boop, anticlimactic, boop, but... Boop, boop, boop. I, I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Okay. With nukes. That one you should send at the nukes, also. Actually, no, keep that on defense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that on air defense. Okay. Although it, it says to turn it to okay. ICBM. Well, it's, it's the tutorial that I, I do its thing. Yeah. Yeah, boop, 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 Feel free to accelerate your time if you need to. Continue to launch all of your nukes at the enemy buildings until they are destroyed. Okay. We can do that. Uh. Let's. Oh. Launch. Oh, okay. So it takes a little while to transition from air defense to ICBM mode. And then it has to launch. Oh. Okay. Uh, I see. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm starting to get this. I'm starting I to get know, it. But this, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with these. Uh, <laughs> Options here. Oh look! Nukes in the air! Alright, we're gonna go with five times real time. Oh, they're, they're, they're about to shoot it down. This music is kind of ominous. I'm kind of reminded of the music at the ending of Metal Gear Solid 2. Funny, since at this point, just call in XCOM, fix all your problems. <laughs> Sure, this game makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I destroyed an airbase. There's a missile just flying off into the Arctic. Oh my god, we're destroying the cities. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel so oh, guilty. My oh my god. No. Oh, I, I can't Goodbye, Stalingrad. Goodbye, Moscow. <laughs> and I'm just... It's only getting worse. The music is so... Oh my god. 
This makes me feel really bad. It's it's such a melancholy soundtrack. That guy says, watch them burn. <laughs> I was just severed the east, well, most of Russia from the rest of Europe. Like, that is now going to be an irradiated wasteland dividing oh, Europe from Russia. I'm so sorry. For the foreseeable future. Yeah, this is finally a game where I feel like a complete dick to millions of people. <laughs> yeah, I feel so. Oh, stop shooting! It's okay. Oh. Scouting and bombing. In oh, you, many you cases. In many cases, enemy units will be out of your radar range. In order to uncover the enemy units, you'll have to send scout planes over enemy territory. Okay, so reconnaissance flights. Place some air bases in your territory. Okay. Then, I think I'll make tactical use of Russia. And I'll put one in Iceland. Just in case I need to field any toward the west. And... I guess I'll put another down here so I can... Sneak up through there. Okay. You can use air bases to launch two types of aircraft. Fighters for short-range combat, scout planes, and bombers. Long-range aircraft armed with a single nuke. HOW MANY NUKES AM I DEPLOYING IN THIS GAME?! Fighters are fast, short-range combat aircraft. They are good at shooting down other aircraft and also make very good scouts. Launch your fighters over enemy territory to scout for targets. But why can't I use satellites? Unless this is set in, like, the 60s. That guy says, so now we know how the Metro series started. Uh, yeah, no freaking kidding. Okay, so... So judging from the icons there, I think those, like, the wedges are meant to be, like, F-117s. I don't know, I could be reading a little bit too much into that. So that would put this in, what, like, the 90s? Not sure. Alright, let's see. So, left click on airbase to begin launching fighters. Left click, I guess we'll send them. I guess. <laughs> left click in this area repeatedly to queue up lots of fighter launches. I, I, okay. I guess we'll put one there and one there. We'll send one over to Siberia so Sarah Palin can wave. Out space. I don't know. We're yeah. supposed to go there. There. Okay, there we go. Um, left click on what? Lenny says the 90s? Oh. I was a 90s kid! As was I. Me too. Although I was technically born in 89, I grew up obviously in the 90s. I I'm literally a 90s kid, as in 90. Yep. So. <laughs> I'm sending all of my bases oh. aircraft at this one area? It's out of range! Why would I even. Alright, you know oh, what? Send a flight over the Arctic? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I guess we'll just... We'll scout our own territory. I'll scout Greenland. Because why not? And we'll go wave at Maine while we're at it. Born in 1990. And hey, buddy, me too! Oh, they want you to click on it repeatedly. I know, that's what we've been doing. I, I think. That's, oh, wait, no, I've got a couple of aircraft in flight right now. Yeah. Alright, so let's speed things up. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? I think, like, we it, found stuff. real time is actually, like, realistically real time. It's, like, literally five minutes. Like, it's, it's how long it would take an aircraft to actually fly over these countries, which is actually kind of a cool idea. Now what? Uh, hold on, let me slow Defcon things. Oh. No! Oh, shit, Defcon 1 means nukes. Uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. your fighters have uncovered all of the enemy buildings, okay. You may notice the enemy buildings become grayed out once they are no longer within your radar coverage. This is called a radar ghost. Okay, so it's kind of fog of war. We will now use bombers to drop nukes on those enemy targets. Use your airbases to launch bombers at the enemy buildings. But it's DEFCON 1. Can't I just launch nukes? But we don't have any. Oh, yeah, because right now I'm only operating with airbases. I get it. Alright, so I... Right click on this airbase to switch it to bomber mode. I, I, I 
Yeah, oh wait, there we go. Bomber launch. Yeah. Okay, launch bombers at each of those because radar stations and air strips are absolutely deserving of nuking. Because that's that's a reasonable response. Hold on, your fighters. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm just gonna accelerate time and see what happens. Because you know why not. Bomber in flight. Another one in flight. The package is in the air. Oh god. Oh, there it goes. Bam! Bombers can travel a very long distance but must get close to their target. They only carry a single short range nuke. So they're delivering tactical nukes. Once a bomber has launched its nuke, it will automatically return to the nearest airbase to land. After landing, a bomber will be reloaded with a new nuke, although airbases have a limited number of nukes with which to rearm bombers. an airbase by hovering the mouse over it, you'll see how many aircraft and nukes are available for you to launch. Okay, so we need to hit that one. So... No, not this, the city there. Right, let's send bombers at that. Okay. I think I've accomplished my goal. I think I need to send more scout planes over again. 